Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, um, I wanted to do this, um, basically collective for you guys. Um, I really don't need the cards, but I may pull from them. But I do feel like this is a message that my higher ups want me to give to you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Um, I'm not really sure, you know, what the full circumstances around the situation was, but I am sure that somebody is suffering and will be, and it will be their karma, okay? It is their karma, if you're wondering, for doing something evil and wicked to somebody. Somebody here did a bunch of death spells and sacrifices on somebody in their life. Somebody's supposed to be provided for. If not provided for loving and protecting, this could be your baby daddies, your baby mamas, your kids, uh, whatever the fuck this is. Okay, but somebody did the wrong fucking thing. You sacrificed or tried to kill the wrong person. That's just a period. Excuse my nails, y'all. I'm trying, I'm like starting to take them off. Okay, and I only started with one and it'd be kind of difficult. You, you, my women know how that is. Okay, so I was like, but I wanted to get this, this, this message out. Okay, but um, I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody here is going to be living with the guilt of whatever they did to somebody. I feel like a cancer was the culprit, whoever the sister was. The cancer is the culprit. That's the one who was behind the sacrifice, this, these murderous attempts through black magic and all that. And, you, and, and somebody died as a result of the evil and the wicked. Somebody is a monster. You are diabolical, you are evil and wicked, and your soul is rotten to the fucking core. And you you guys should know that it was the sister. You could have a sister or it was the sister that was the culprit. It's a cancer, I keep hearing cancer. I keep seeing the moon card. Real dark and sinister and evil, but somebody that comes off very loving and caring. This could even be somebody you're involved with. This water sign. Okay, but whoever this is, the sister was the main culprit behind doing evil and wicked and you sacrificed somebody passed away as a result of your fuck shit and your fuckery and your evil. You thought that you were going to put this person in the ground, but the grave you dug, so you ended up falling into or somebody you love. That's how fuck it with anointed and covered, covered motherfuckers. That's how people that fuck with anointed and covered motherfuckers end up. Fucked up and in the fucking grave. And it's not a joke. It's not funny. It's not any of that shit. It's sad. And it's quite fucking pathetic. Whoever the fuck this, this, this fucking evil, um, uh, raggedy motherfucker is, you're going to have to pay for that. And not only that, you're going to live with the fact of knowing that you are the reason why your loved one is in the ground. The evil, the wicked, and, uh, and it's because of they evil and wicked doing too that they in the ground too. But you are the motherfucking um, one standing by, behind it. You don't want to have to live with that shit. You don't want all that evil shit. You like to play with death and play with people's lives. Well, death is on you then. That's all that's going to be around you. Your, your motherfuckers fucking with anointed and covered people and doing shit to people for no reason, attacking them and doing whatever this is. You will live and rot with that. You are a monster. You are evil and you are wicked to your fucking core. And this same bitch that was the culprit behind it, this cancer, that that's going to be the main hoe telling you, no, you're not. We're not evil. You're wicked. That's the bitch that use you as the muscle to do the wicked and the evil to accomplish what they wanted because they're so jealous and hateful and wicked of this other person. Extremely. You don't hate this person. You you were programmed by the people you doing this wicked with to think that. While you was doing it on this person, they was doing it on your ass. This person, this you were made to believe by this fucking cancer, this weak bitch, this stank hoe, that to believe that uh, this jealous hoe, this wicked hoe, that you don't, that you aren't loved by a certain person, that they don't care about you, and all they truly wanted, and God knows it, and you know it too, was to see your fuck your ass win, and to see you do well after all you've been through in life, that these wicked motherfuckers really put you through. These are fucking monsters, and get, and they bred one in you. I know who the culprit is. I know who the main person, this cancer, this sister, this wicked bitch, 
You're the reason why it happened just like it did. And you ain't seen shit yet, bitch. Because all you do is walk around being evil, nasty, and wicked. And y'all motherfuckers being evil, nasty, and wicked to motherfuckers doing sacrifices and death spells. Who the fuck do you think you are? Lucky for me, I have the ranking and the judgment to call down and you bitches will be the one in the grave. That's on every fucking thing I love. It will always end up with somebody close to you. You want to see somebody in pain and suffering and grief and you try to take a mother away from their fucking child? And think it's funny and a joke and a fucking game, you wicked bitches. Let's see how much you laugh when that shit popped off the way it did. Or did you laugh then? Did you celebrate then? Did you make margaritas then? Did you cheers then? I bet you, nah, you didn't. You mourned and cried and oh my God, that's what you did or that's what you'll be doing. It's not okay. It's not cool and it's not none of that. And the higher ups are pissed the fuck off and they're going to show you what's up. You will live every day for the rest of your life with this grief and guilt you carry. You want to find somebody to blame? Bitch, it ain't going to be the innocent hoe. It's you. And that's why the shit is happening to you. You want to blame somebody, blame this fucking evil, wicked cancer sister of yours, bitch. Blame this fucking hoe. I want to see what the messages are. And now somebody's grieving. The universe wants somebody to know that this is also a part of your karma. Not just losing this person, but it's also a part of your, the higher fine. God, respect morals. Okay, that's the higher fine. It's also um, going to be, you're going to be plagued with guilt behind what you did to this tribe to do to this innocent person. Take them out all because you were jealous. You wanted to get rid of them so you could take their life, their role, their destiny. Or somehow you thought that that was going to fucking work. Or I, I mean, I, I swear to God, motherfuckers just loped the fuck out, dog. To the point of no motherfucking return. Like real throwed. And then had the audacity to think that somebody wouldn't know or wouldn't be aware or alerted or wouldn't be tapped in and you know somebody tapped in like a motherfucker and you just and you and you actually thought that you were smarter than them somebody could never admit they will go to their grave and never admit that you were actually smarter than them they just cannot admit that that's not me i can always say no no bitch you smarter than me or you know more than me or you this that and the other or teach me this is somebody with such a huge ego but if you were so smart bitch why did this shit backfire on you the way it did? Why is this person aware of every fucking evil move you try to make and thought you try to have? Somebody's not going to do war games with you and battles and motherfucking who's smarter or not because we all know the answer to that question. Somebody wants you to leave them the fuck alone, period, in thought, in spirit, in life, in anything, ho. And every single thing you attempt to do, and don't think somebody will never know. Don't think it'll be years and somebody thinks that um, you forgot about them and um, you're no longer doing work on them. No, bitch, they will always know that you will always do work. And as soon as you're doing anything, they are alerted and aware and they're going to call it the fuck down unbearably, bitch. See, that's the good thing. Yeah, the temperance, the higher finding the temperance. Somebody has high ranking in the spiritual world, literally. The temperance is angels. The higher find is God. This is somebody that could even be an ascended master, literally. High ranking in the spiritual world. And you're attacking them for no other reason than you're jealous, hateful. I want to see you lose. I want to see you suffer. Why do you get that? Why do you, why do you get to have that? Why do you get to live like that? Why do you get to... uh? Like, and, and, and playing the victim mentality instead of going after what's yours. This person was there to help you. The guys, you, you could have been a part of their life with them. They wanted to see the best with you. It's these bitches that you was doing work with that don't. Those are hoes that don't. And you let them trick you and beguile you and play on your fucking mind. You're a monster. You're evil as fuck. And somebody so diabolical and evil should not even breed, be breeding fucking children on this fucking earth. Be careful who you have children with, man. On fucking God. Because it could be literally the devil him fucking self. And you have to live with that regret and that remorse. We have the Ace of Cups. That, yeah, somebody with high rank. The Ace of Cups is also spirituality. It's being connected to source. It's having the answers. It's restoration. It's healing. It's love and overpouring of it. It's being connected to spirit. Somebody speaks literally to the angels, their guides. And if you have a passed on um, loved one that was like a grandfather or the matriarch of the family, they protect you. They love you so much. And everywhere you go, they are with you. And they want you to know that. Yeah. 
Period. They want you to know that. When they when these motherfuckers were sitting up making margaritas and cheers and, and, and plotting on your fucking death and then coming in your face smiling and, and like nothing was going on and coming around the kids and they trying to kill you and take you from your fucking kids. When they was plotting and doing all of this and thought you didn't know or, or whatever, your, your ancestors, your guys, this angel was protecting you and watching them. Standing there looking at them party and laugh and all the plans that came up and all the crossroad shit they did and all this shit that was watching them like a hawk. And that same grave that they dug for you out there, that, that, that the evil fell into, fell into, and they were partying and drinking and thinking it's a game and using all kinds, willing to go to any extent, using up all their fucking money, paying these motherfuckers to, 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 to end you and do shit to you. And this is your own nieces, nephews, your own children, your sons, your daughters, your own family, my nigga. It doesn't matter how life went and what happened. Instead of becoming victorious, you became a victim, bitch ass nigga. And that's how you're going to live your fucking life. You motherfuckers that sit up here and do this evil ass wicked shit. It's not a fucking game and it's not a joke when you playing with some wicked shit. Now you're going to be haunted literally every day for the rest of your motherfucking life for what you have tried to do and attempted to do. And now you have to live with the fact that, you're, that somebody you love, even though they are just as wicked as you, is in the grave behind your fucking wickedness. Or that's what's coming in for sure. If it hasn't happened already. We have the fucking hermit. And the four of cups. Yeah. I just feel like. Yeah. This is another card of spirituality. I'm getting something that's wholesome or beautiful. Or this is. You You. You are beautiful. You have a beautiful voice. Something about music. New music. This could be art painting. Somebody could be painting a picture of an angel. Or your grandfather. Or somebody that passed on. Maybe this is a mural. Maybe these are people gathering. Um, together to paint this or or some shit like that. that something about a mir mirror. I don't mean to say it like that, but if that's the case, this is beautiful. For others of you, this could be a new love, a very sp spiritual, deep and loving love. Somebody that is patient and honest, understanding, a beautiful blending of energy. Somebody loyal to you, committed to you, the higher fine, wants marriage with you. It could be a Taurus, or we, but we have Sagittarius here too, or somebody has those placements. It could be a water sign. Okay, yeah, but justice, leave your energy. I feel like you did justice. I feel like this love that's coming in, this support, whatever this is, you deserve this wholeheartedly. For all the black magic that's been on done on your life, your love life, everything down to your money, your beauty, your life, your love life, what you rightfully deserve to have. And motherfuckers sit up and act like they gonna have it and they gonna get to chill and kick it and have life in the best way while you suffer and you're actually the anointed, chosen, covered one. The motherfuckers that is disposable feels like they can come in and destroy the motherfuckers that's not. That's the best parallel I can draw. Like literally, the motherfuckers like that. They feel like they can come in and they think it's going to be dandy and gravy and grapes and, and butterflies and shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you, are you a fucking weirdo or? Okay, I'm not going to say that. Yeah, it, it, the justice and the two of swords, an eye for an eye, every goddamn thing somebody do to you, everything they've done for years to torment, torture you, and this could be anybody. This could be somebody you're married to in a relationship with a corporation, an entity, an institution, or whatever the fuck this is, okay? Whatever was done, you're going to be redeemed. Look at this beautiful energy. You have the higher ups around you, my nigga. They love you, and they are proud of you is what they're saying. They're, they're blowing the horn. I'm getting like judgment energy. You are going to be just fine and protected and loved and appreciated in every situation. And the, and the guys, the heavens, the higher ups are going to bring people in to love you, protect you, and put, help you and put you on your way. Because this diabolical evil motherfucker trying to bind you to them or keep you from love and happiness and joy. Somebody's trying to make you too old for something or or, or this, that, and the other. But the, but the universe is like, nah, but you have the time. Time will turn backwards if you want it to. I will make sure it do to make sure you have what you want. You will age backwards, bitch, literally. That's what my higher ups are saying. You will always be youthful and beautiful. And you will always have affluence, money, and the life you deserve. And whoever tried to take it from you, trust I let certain things happen for a reason. But, but when the time comes, I bring it the fuck down. This is what the higher ups are saying. I bring it the fuck down. Because I have gave, given you so much mercy and, 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 and warned you, stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Cut this out. This is not you. This is not right. And that's the sad part. These motherfuckers that's sitting up doing this, 
It can very well be a Scorpio. I feel like a Cancer. I'm hearing Scorpio Cancer. It's, it's whoever this is. You're not even supposed to be living like this. You're supposed to be anointed and covered to God, spreading the word, showing people your life and, and what not to do, inspiring people. But instead, you're mad at somebody else for doing it. Instead of working with them or working at you, you're mad. You let these weak hoes, this pussy rat Cancerian, your sister, convince you because this is y'all sister or this is somebody or whoever this is. Dude, that's the fucking culprit, bitch. You a raggedy hoe and you a dirty bitch too. Dirty as fuck. Monster. Y'all bitches is monsters and evil and got a nerve to have fucking children. God. We have the death card. Look at all these majors. Four majors are kind of, it could be a Scorpio or Libra with the death and injustice, a Taurus or a Sagittarius. But something, now we have another major. Five majors and there's only six cards on the table. Okay, so something is major here. The lovers, this could be a lover, loving situation or, or, or something like that. Something about love, the lovers being in love. Somebody loves your voice. They love, your, your, maybe you're an artist. They love how you paint. They love whatever this is. But I, I feel like something is very soothing. Something is also changing about the laws. Some laws are changing or something is changing here. Yeah, the nine of swords and the hermit. Somebody's really going to be haunted here. It could be a Virgo. This could be this old bitch or this tired hoe or whatever. Somebody's going to be haunted by their shit. Yeah, the ten of swords and the four of cups. By the wicked that they've done, or this is somebody you're fucking around you, or this is somebody that, that that has just been tormenting, watching you, and stalking you for a long time. It's still doing somebody is disgusting, bound, and low, and they and everything you did and try to do is coming back on you unbearably, bitch. And you can repent and you can ask God to help you, but you're gonna pay for every fucking thing you've done. And we'll see if you're genuine. Once you go through everything you try to put somebody else through tenfold, we'll see after you come out, out, out of that, if you do. If you genuinely sorry or not, because everybody's sorry when shit ain't working in their favor. But where's the sorry? Where's the where's the empathy? Where's the sympathy when you you sitting up conscious of what you're doing to somebody and you laughing and having a good time while doing it? Where where's the sorry then, you fucking monster? You fucking loser, you fucking rat. Yeah, I saw the judgment, and you ain't even called to be a loser and a fucking rat. You called to be something that, that, that special, and these motherfuckers know that. They jealous, they jealous of, of this person and you know that. Especially this fucking cancer, bitch. You culprit, you the culprit, you fucking hoe. We got the um death in the um the fucking strength card. Somebody's having an ego death here or a major change or whatever. Yeah, we have the magician and the fool card. Damn, it's a lot of majors. Somebody is a major deal. Just period. It's so many motherfucking majors here. Something is major. This love, this whatever the fuck this is. The king of wands, nine of wands, eight of cups. Or whatever the fuck this is, this shit needs to stop. This shit needs to, this shit is going to stop. Somebody's on your yeah, the world card. Somebody's on your ass. Somebody attacking you. All this love and beautiful energy you give, this loyalty, this ability to change, this ability to love people, even through your hurt and pain and disappointment. The people that you, that you try to love, do you, like, because somebody with the Ace of Cups, that's a card of forgiveness. So is the temperance. Somebody is whole and healed. They can forgive. They understand why people go through the things that they go through in their life or why certain things happen the way they do for certain people. This, shit, this person understands the connect. They're very connected connected to source God to higher up somebody understands life and that is hard and it could be traumatized and it could be painful but we go through it and we become victorious we don't become victims and we don't we don't find people to blame for our mistakes and choices we we face them head on and become a better person because of that shit somebody is sick, like, like real shit and somebody was supposed to be that for you in your life help you heal you but you had these rats keeping you away from this person distorting them and changing your view of them because they were jealous and hateful or because they are jealous and hateful to the fucking core. And, and, and the fact that somebody cannot see that, I'm, 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 I'm baffled here. It's sitting together with, wow, these fucking majors, dog. You have to, like, like how many majors have fucking showed up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like eight majors. It's not eight out, but eight, at least eight I've seen. We got um, one, two, three, six of them out here and eight cards on the table. There's a major shift and change, an ego death and shift. So th this is by the universe, this change. This universe brought this, this shift or change in confirmation. This is justice. 
or something or somebody is somebody or whatever the fuck this is yeah ego death or change somebody needs to undergo healing and change okay or this is you yeah the lovers or somebody wants to keep you from that because you worked hard. You're a fucking monster. And the higher ups are going to whoop you, my nigga, for, for what you have done. Another major, the sun card. Another major, the judgment. I told you, the judgment. Calling out something. Being happy, being radiant, healthy, and youthful. It could be a Leo. Being prime of yourself. Expanding your destiny. Don't allow nobody to take your destiny for you. Anybody coming for my destiny, my life, my right to be comfortable or happy or joyous, is I'm going to bring it the fuck down, ho. I ain't going to bend over and take it. Your ass is going to suffer, bitch, and that's on game. It's not a joke, a game, or any of that shit. Any of that shit. I'm going to use my ranking and the power and the, my position in the spiritual world, the highest ranking there is, to bring justice to this world and fairness, not only to myself, but to everybody else as well, as long as I'm around. It's not just going to go like that because I'm tired of innocent people being bullied and picked on and attacked because you're a fucking monster and a diabolical fucking loser and a weirdo and a sick fuck. You're, you're a fucking monster. And, and, every, and people have to go around you fucking menace and be attacked by you and your weak fucking shit because you don't have nothing better to do. That shit is dead, ho. That shit is dead. And motherfuckers going to be dead, too. That's just what it is. I don't give a fuck how you feel about it, bitch. You take it up with the higher the fuck up, bitch. I, I'm just reporting the message. I know how to bow to the higher ups and gods. I know how to say you are in control and you are in power and you are this and that. Y'all bitches the one that can't. And that's why your ass is going to suffer. We got the two of swords. Just a period. That's why your ass is going to suffer. The ace of swords and everything because somebody wants to keep battling and acting like God and you're not. And now when God is making you suffer to the fucking core, won't move shit in your life. You losing people, death and shit. Now you, 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 you went, oh my God, oh my God. No, don't call on God, bitch. Call on that fucking devil because the devil is a lie. It's only so much that the devil can do for your ass. But that bitch karma, that bitch is coming regardless of whatever the situation is. Regardless of whatever the fucking situation is. That that justice will always be served. There it is, right there. The scales will always be balanced, period. The two of swords, the knight of pentacles, and the ten of wands with the seven of cups and the hangman. So, I don't know what the fuck this is. I feel like something... Somebody like there's a tough decision or something is delayed or something there, there's something there's like a long delay here or wait or the ten of wands or someone's trying to stress you out here go to faggot Sagittarius again with their gay ass. Okay, trying to um cause confusion or they're wondering why something is slowed down or okay. Yeah, this is about a home or a situation or whatever this is. Somebody you, you think you, you feel like you had a fool card. You're over. So whatever this delay is, this confusion, this pressure, this stress or whatever, you're over it. You're free from this. You're over it. It's done. It's dead or whatever. Or somebody's waiting for something to be released. You have the sun card. A solution to all your problems. So if there was a delay, if you were at a stalemate or confused or unsure, or something was moving slow or something seemed to be hard or um, um, something you're just waiting for a long, whatever this is, the fool card is like you're over it. You're letting something go or you're releasing it. If something is too hard, too confusing or takes too long or you're just not sure and you got a ride to fix about it, don't do it. Just let it go. The fool card, the sun card, and that's the solution solution to it is letting it go or moving on just period or something that was delayed or you were waiting for is going to be released with the what's the full card is going to be released yeah i saw that i saw the nine of pentacles and the queen of wands so this is about you being sexy free or un unencumbered or independent or whatever okay yeah Yeah, that, there's that Sagittarius showing up. Somebody's mad about a gay ass. If you're a grown ass man, you sitting up watching a female and annoyed and irritated by a woman, you're only mad because they don't want your gay ass. So go sit your gay ass down some fucking where or go find something else to do. 24, 24, gay ass. Don't have nothing better to do but be mad at folks and, and, and pissed off because you don't want them. You're beautiful. You don't pay them attention or, or whatever this is they're trying to do to you is not going to go like that or whatever the fuck this is, man. Like, find something better to fucking do. You're a loser. So, hermit, like, real shit, y'all bitches is losers. And all you do is sit up. You yeah, have the four of cups, 
and the Ten of Swords. That shit is dead. And the star. Someone's going to heal here. Just period. Yeah, the star. It could be an Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo. We got Taurus, Sagittarius, Libra, Leo, and Scorpio here. It could be any of those signs. Yeah, Aquarius, the tower and the four swords. You're at peace. You have for stability. Even if there's a tower happening or there's weather, the bad weather, inclement weather, I don't know what this is, or whatever's going on in your life, you're at peace because you know your whole, you know your guys got you. You know that, you know what motherfuckers did. And the guys and the higher ups know too, and you're going to and you're going to be redeemed for all of it, bitch. Because this was for no reason, no reason at all. Somebody attacking you and doing whatever they're doing. King of Pentacles. There seems to be some money or something like that, a cash infusion or, or some kind of healing or something like that. Yeah, the Two of Cups. This could be in a relationship, a new beginning. I feel like if something was stagnant or, or, or whatever, somebody that was something just ends abruptly here, and you heal or. There, there is a break in silence if somebody ghosted or was delaying things or not or not interested or not moving or there was some kind of complacency or whatever that just that ends you're free from something something breaks you're free i feel like you're going to be the universe is going to make sure of it because you definitely yeah the world something just ends universe is going to make sure of it because you've definitely been fucked with a lot here but, but just know you have stability and insecurity in your home. Just know that everything's going to work out in your favor. You don't have to worry about shit. What's the death and the strength? Your higher ups got you. Just period. They got you. The death and the strength. And whoever this evil, diabolical, bitch-ass nigga that was doing work on you, trying to kill you and sacrifice you, it, came, it flipped on their ass. Real, 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 real bad. And you need to live with it, bitch. You fucking cancer, your sister or whoever. That you are the culprit, you weak-ass, evil bitch. You hateful as fuck. And you're the reason why shit turned out the way it did. Or this Scorpio or whatever the fuck this is on game. We have the Three of Swords. And that's on some real-ass shit. So somebody's gonna have an ego death or be crying or some shit like that. I'm not really sure what, what the fuck for. What is the three of the death and the strength and the three of swords? Somebody's gonna really have to look at the ways, their, their, their ways and their nasty ass fucking ways. Yeah, the three of swords and the queen of pentacles, a loss here, a breakup, a divorce, or an ending. What's the three of swords and the queen of pentacles? Or somebody's mother, or um, whatever you have. The, yeah, you see that? Yeah, you see that? These cars sticking out here. Yeah, yeah, we got um, the four swords. Yeah, and I and this was sticking out right here, the five of cups. So this is bereavement. This is actual an, an actual death. Yeah, the nine of swords. Somebody feels guilty or remorseful. The reason why their mother died or their wife or this Capricorn Earth sign or whatever. Somebody's gonna have a huge ego death. It's a Scorpio, a Cancer, because I saw the Moon card and, 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 or a um a, or whatever. So you're the reason. You could try to blame somebody else, and they're protected. They didn't do shit to you. They were sending your life to help you, to guide you. You turned against this person because of these weak motherfuckers. You had a magician. Somebody's going to be regret doing this magic that they were doing because they put somebody in the grave behind it. You had a queen of cups a, a, and, and a, um, a water sign or doing on somebody's child or whatever, they, or, or doing it to somebody, period. And now somebody's grieving and bereaving the death of this mother, this grandmother, this, this wife or whatever the fuck this is. Because they're evil as fucking wicked to the core. Just as simple as that. Yeah, Knight of Swords, somebody attacking your, your love life, your interest, your, your happiness, your joy, or whatever. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, there it go. This evil bitch again. It could be a Gemini. What is this? Or it's a fire sign. Yeah, the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands attacking you. Somebody is attacking you, your, your love life, your sex life, or some shit like that. Somebody is pathetic. It's this, it's this Sagittarius, this fucking loser. This Sagittarius is a loser, bitch. Like, big time loser. Yeah, the seven of wands. I feel like because you reject them, so they attack you. Somebody wants sex with you, and you will never fuck their loser, broke, distorted, cursed ass. Ever, 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 ever. The seven of wands, not yet. Somebody that you reject for sex, somebody's attracted to you, they want to sleep with you, it will never happen, bitch, ever. Ever, 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 ever. And so somebody attacks you or tries to break up situations in your life or whatever, okay? So you're going to pay for that heavy, very, very heavy, very, very heavy, very, very heavy, period. You're going to pay for that, bitch. 
Yeah, the Eight of Swords, and somebody could be going to jail. That's, that could be their karma as well. They're going to be locked up. The Eight of Swords and the Chariot, or somebody try to get you locked up or put you in a situation where whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, we got the Nine of Cups. It's a no. Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, or somebody's trying to sabotage you or make you, make, it, make you homeless to where they can sleep with you or fuck you or some shit like that or possibly rape you. This is the police involved in this shit or somebody is doing this with the police. You must be retarded, bitch. Yeah, the moon is coming out in the reverse of cancer. It's coming out. You're going to be blocked and fucked up and stop dead in your tracks before you even get to this person, bitch. You'll be dead. Literally, I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm talking to all y'all pussy assholes. It's never going to happen. And the fact that you are that dis disgusting, low, and pathetic, where you have to actually try to do this to somebody, you are pathetic, dog. You are pathetic. And a pathetic fucking loser. We have the Five of Cups and the Ten of Cups. You're a fucking loser. What's the Five of Cups? Yeah, justice, bitch. And there it is. Try it. Go ahead. Try it. Somebody wouldn't dare, ho. You could think about it all you want to, ho. It ain't gonna never happen. You keep trying to do something to somebody, you're gonna, you're gonna be fucked up, bitch. That bitch justice is right there, ho. Like, yeah, what's up then? You wanna play? I'm a balance of you, bitch. You're gonna be burying motherfuckers on God. You want to keep playing with my anointed and covered person that's not doing shit to you, attacking an innocent person? Then I'm going to show you what suffering is, bitch. That's how the higher ups work. I'm going to show you, motherfucker. And that's on gang. What's the five of cups and the eight of cups? That's real life. Yeah, the four swords and the five of pentacles. Somebody could be sick or they're going to be sick. The tables are going to turn. Someone's going to have bereavement, a loss, a death, or whatever the fuck this is. Just period. Justice is here twice. I'm not playing with you hoes. Like, bitch, y'all y'all need to leave innocent people alone. Stop tormenting people, torturing them. Stop doing whatever the fuck you're doing because they don't want you or because you're jealous of them. The fucking star, move around and go figure out your pathetic ass fucking life. That's what you need to be doing. What is this right here? With your weird fucking ass. Fucking losers. And I'm going to keep saying it. The high priestess, yeah, you already know that somebody's doing something behind the scenes. You already know somebody fucking with you. You already know somebody, whatever, it, it, period. Yeah, the devil, the nine of wands, and the page of swords. Somebody just is obsessed with you and mad as fuck, too. Obsessed with you and scary as fuck and a hoe. Someone's trying to, to, to yeah, the four of cups, it's just not going to work. It's a lose-lose, four cups, two of swords, whatever this projecting is or watching you, stalking you, somebody, whatever the fuck this is. The temperance, somebody's starting to realize just how covered and favored and protected you are. Yeah, the temperance and the high fun again, how closely connected, coming out together again and anointed you are with the higher ups. You have rank, my nigga. Yeah, the two of wands, you are chosen, just period. Instead of just leaving alone like that, somebody feels like you're trying to one up and ward them. It's like, bitch, you, you, you're only in this position because of the higher ups. The higher fun is here twice. You do the right thing. You have morals and integrity. Somebody wants to battle because they because they 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 cannot take you down and do whatever they want to you, bitch. Yeah, that's just not what it is. Yeah, the judgment. Somebody is chosen. Two of wands judgment. It's not going to go like that. And anything you do to them, you will suffer gravely 10 million times over for years at a time. Not for no short shit. Yeah, the world is over for years at a time. So if that's what you want to play and keep doing and you can't move around, that is on you. But somebody, but you're going to have to suffer as a result of it. Just period. Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. And the fool, somebody doesn't understand how you keep becoming free, how you keep getting free or support or free from this shit because you're not supposed to be in this. You're not supposed to live a life of burden and being weighed down in any way, shape, form or fashion. It's just not going to go like that. Go find somebody else with a cursed destiny that you could. This is this is not this person's life. It's just not going to go like that. Like, if I was evil and wicked, I would have enough um, being an air sign. I would have enough sense to know, like, I can't keep doing this. I'm going to be affected. This person is covered in favor. I, it's not that fucking serious to move on with my fucking life. I'm not about to suffer behind no fucking body. Somebody here is retarded. 
And then they got a they got a nerve to wonder how you keep being saved or free because your higher ups are not gonna let this happen. It's not your destiny, dog. You don't deserve this. You've built lifetimes of great karma around you. You you've done nothing to deserve to be sitting in a fucked up position other than the fact that somebody wants to see it because they are hateful, racist, evil, nasty, wicked, grimy. It could be a multitude of things. Yeah, somebody hates your light. They hate you. You're you're beautiful. You're attractive. You're you're royal. You're anointed. You're covered. You're chosen. You're favored. People have a why why um why not me complex instead of just moving on with your life, like and go get what's yours. Now you now you done built all this bad karma around you for years to come, and now you gotta suffer because you don't know how to move on with your life or 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 stop being retarded as fuck. You're doing what you're called to do. I'm not going to be silenced or anything like that. I'm doing what I ca I'm called to do. If you don't like it, don't watch me. Don't listen. Get the fuck away from me or do whatever you got to do. But I'm not going to stop doing what I, if I don't do it here in this state, in this house, in this whatever the fuck. You know, you know what I mean? I'm going to do it regardless of wherever I'm at because that's what I'm supposed to do. Six of Pentacles, and I'm going to do what my higher ups call me to do. I don't give a fuck about no lower energy in your attacks. You're going to have to pay for that. And whatever suffering or whatever I go through, you're going to go through it tenfold. That's the way that tenfold, baby. And I'm going to still be cushioned and protected and covered because I do the right thing. And because I'm covered and favored, just period. So find somebody else to bully and pick on you, weak ass bitch. We have the star here twice, the two of cups, eight of wands, the death. Yeah, Scorpio. And we got um, um, king of pentacles here twice. So a lot of money and favor. Yeah, the four of wands. This could be around a home. We have the emperor. We have the ten of pentacles. And the Ace of Swords, some kind of check or abundance or um, application or money, whatever this is, you're going to get it here. You're going to get what you need. The universe is going to provide for you, just period. Stay doing good. Even when you at your lowest, give to people. Help them. I don't give a fuck if you got your last $5. That, that, that's the type of person I am. That's why my, my higher ups protect me. I don't help pay people's fucking rents and help them do this and that and do this and that and even... No matter what I go through, I'm always giving and loving, and I'm gonna continue to be that bitch. And ain't nobody gonna motherfucking um um put me in no place that you're gonna suffer. Someone is annoyed. They pulling the higher font temperance twice in the same sequence in both decks. The star twice. All these sixes, swords, six of swords, wands, pentacles, cups is here twice. Somebody's supposed to sit just like this, and they're going to. And the universe is gonna fight for them. That don't nobody give a fuck about your ratchet shit. And your evil ass ways, you got to pay for that, bitch. Period. You got to pay for that. That's on you. But you're not going to, somebody's not going to take this, bend over and take your shit, ho. You got life fucked up. You had a tower, the five, knight of wands and the five of wands. This could be an athlete or a performer. It could be a Leo or, or something. Somebody's an athlete, a, a, um, a boxer or some shit like that or whatever. Yeah, we got the empress. It's like somebody wants to, yeah, it's, okay, what's the empress? I definitely feel like somebody could be foreign here, Haitian, Dominican, Nigerian, or something, yeah, and the emperor. Yeah, somebody's mad, doing chaos ma magic or whatever. It's a king of wands and somebody that wants you because you're manifesting something that you want, your happiness, your joy. I feel like somebody's doing work on you, and you're still going to be fine, and you're still going to get what you want, emperor, and you're still going to have what you deserve, and you're still going to have all of that. Let somebody suffer, man, because that's the life they live in. And the next one, they doomed to hell. And then this one, they're going to suffer. I feel like somebody, there's going to be an abrupt death. Somebody's not going to see it coming. Somebody's not going to see it coming at all. At all. At all. So, so somebody's so busy attacking you, and the universe is just like, okay. Okay, well, I want you to be distracted doing all that work you're doing on them while I, while, while. We come in and sneak up behind you and you don't even see it coming, bitch. How about that? Yeah, the um, the Will of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. The universe has a funny sense of humor, too. You think it's funny to see somebody suffer and <coughs> you're getting away with it. And I look at them. They're suffering or whatever the fuck. No, not quite, baby. We have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. With the, yeah, so there's arguments and fights or some shit about, about um, in a group or with a Cancerian or with the police or in a situation. You had the two of pentacles in the tower. 
something is falling apart or something is unstable or there's there's a conflicting opinions or, or, or this group isn't working well together or something yeah i feel like somebody's walking away or letting it go or dropping something something is too inconsistent or something is it's just not worth it is what i'm hearing or it's not something like that Or somebody's tired of the arguing, the fighting, or whatever. Okay, yeah. Somebody, Page of Pentacles, the Sun, the Eight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Judgment with the Page of Wands. Really good news around this money or whatever this is. Yeah, the Ace of Swords or reconciliation and application of truth. Yeah, somebody's coming back in. I'm not really sure. We have the Ace of Wands here and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of pages, the Eight of Wands. And what is this? Yeah, we have the Emperor. I feel like it's, it's, your, it's your person here. What's the emperor? Because the emperor and the empress came out up there together. Okay? And I feel like it's the same thing. Somebody sees you as their divine counterpart. What's the emperor? And the page of wands. And that, okay. Something about a father. Yeah, the judgment. And there, here's another page. The four cups. So, so a lot of, something about kids. The judgment. Or something in and, and the empress and the yeah, someone's choosing you. I feel like something about children, or they may want to have children with you, or you may have a child, or they do. Yeah, someone's gonna reach out to you and say something to you. Yeah, the eight of wands, ace of pentacles, something about money here. Several grams, maybe ten or more. But I feel like somebody wants a family or long term with you. Somebody actually wants to put in the work in this connection. Confirmation. Somebody loves you, okay? And that and that's something that you need to know here. What is this upheaval and this and, and shit? The, the divine is going to come in and, and bring this shit to an end here. Because this, this done went too fucking far. Yeah, irreconcilable differences. This could be a, something about a divorce. It's over. What is the emperor and the empress with the ten of pity? Yeah, something is over, whatever the fuck this is. The emperor and the empress? I saw, yeah, a commitment. Okay, long-term relationship. Okay, it says long-term in relationship. So, yeah, insatiable. All right, so somebody says unquenchable, wanting more. Somebody wants this. Yeah, magnetic attraction, unexplainable pull, can't resist. Somebody wants this. Yeah, gossip, okay? Um, alien, um, tell it. Yeah, somebody's gossiping here. What's the gossiping? Petty, jealous, and envy. That's what you got, these losers, these bottom of the barrel, these lower energies that's always wanting to see people unhappy because they're miserable as fuck, about to reveal and confess. Toxic, yeah, somebody, yeah, a uh, karmic, third-party relationship lesson, drastic, extreme, harsh, cut off, and poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors in people. Someone's cutting off this karmic, they're, they're done. They're like, bitch, I'm, I'm done. It's going to be an extreme, harsh cut off, too. Yeah, ghosted, blocked, and cut off, and then uh, court paperwork filed. Somebody has filed for divorce, anxiety, a scared, and panic, and now they're mad about it. And divine masculine, and wish, hope, yearning, and praying, and come together, reconnection. I mean, reconciliation, spiritual union, and soul contract. So there's a feminine, a divine masculine praying and having anxiety and wishing and yearning that you can come, that they can come back together with you. And I feel like, um, you know, I don't know. I'm not seeing your yeah, realization, awareness, finding out and coming to light and focus. Eyes for you fascinated and watching. Somebody is watching your ass like a hawk. They realize you're the one. They could be watching your home. But I just feel like um, somebody wants to come together to you with you. I just feel like it's a matter of being honest here yeah, because there is love. So adore and admire and enchant it. But I feel like you have new love here. You're happy somewhere else. You're not with the lies, the bullshit, the games, the drama or any of that shit. You're like, no, I'm good. Meditation, clearing space, removing. But I feel like somebody's removing this shit out of their life. They're like, yeah, I'm good on this. I don't give a fuck. I'm done with it. I'm, I'm done living like this. Um, and and, and, and I'm, no, I'm no longer confused about love. I'm no longer confused about who really has my back. I'm no longer co confused about who's lying. I'm no longer confused about any of that. I'm, I'm done. Literally, this is what I'm hearing. Yeah, Archangel Michael. It's protection, prevented for harm, divine intervention. You have Michael and the ancestors and everybody all around you. Somebody not going to do shit to your ass, period. Time and factor pause in the reverse and then happiness. Wholeness over joy and smiling. Somebody no longer wants to put their happiness on hold, just period. What's the focus, realization, and insatiable with the um, commitment card? Somebody that somebody doesn't want to, um, yeah, it says vacation hideaway. Somebody wants to go on a vacation with you. 
Okay, synchronicity signs, 1111, 222, and 333. Somebody could be getting signs or someone's trying to find you. Or, yeah, retaliation and twin flame. Somebody wants to retaliate on a twin flame connection. They're mad. Yeah, pretending fate, living beyond means, and ascension. Spiritual path and awakening. Yep. And then uh, rage. Ready? Somebody's mad because somebody's tired of pretending and they've ascended. They've awakened. Yeah, pop-ups, a spontaneous, unexpected surprise or event. This could have just happened out of nowhere. Someone's not expecting this to happen. Yeah, so moving physical location or change in the reverse. So maybe there's, or all of a sudden you're moving, or all of a sudden somebody's moving out of this house, or they're not, or something about this house. Yeah, we have obsession, must have indulgence, or maybe somebody pops up and you're not there. Okay, yeah, entrapment. And we have divine feminine bounty hunter. Yeah, somebody hot pursuit on this divine feminine. Someone's trying to get someone to entrap them so they can't move on with their life. They're going to do it with the pregnancy. See, anchors chained and weighed down. Yep, emotions coming and going. Yeah, somebody is willing to do anything to trap somebody anything and that's get pregnant too yeah triggered because they're triggered that somebody's awoken or that somebody's ready to get the fuck away from their money hungry lying pretending dirty filthy ass just period so there's nothing else you can learn from this situation that's why the world is here done completion lesson learned literally that's what it says that's the world card and the regular tarot there's nothing else you can get. Here it is, the world. There's nothing else you can get from that situation. It's closed. It's sealed. It's over. You've learned all you can learn. All you're going to do now is suffer playing with this fucking person. And I feel like somebody knows that. They're like, no, I'm done. I don't want to be like that. I I'm good. I want something. I feel like somebody just wants a different life, a different way of being, a different way of seeing things, a different way of moving. Just They just want to do something different. And, and people have the right to. So this is that this is what I have for y'all. I didn't mean to make this so long, but sometimes it ends up being like that. Somebody needed to hear these messages. Know that you are anointed, covered, and favored, and that you are protected. And don't ever worry about shit. Your guys are gonna come through like angels. And I'm telling you, that shit be crazy. That shit be insane. But they have you, they love you, and they and they motherfucking support you. You will have what you need. Okay, you are anointed and covered in this life. And you're meant to live affluent and comfortable and abundant and all of that. And you're going to have it. It was promised to you by the higher ups. You did the work and you did what you were supposed to. Nobody can sacrifice you, crucify you or any of that shit. Or, or they're going to be made to do that. This ain't no past life, bitch. You're not going back towards your south. No, this ain't your past life or none of that. Somebody's trying to put your past life on you again in this life. It's a no. It's a fucking negative. It's a no. And whoever did the sacrifice and killing and all, you, you fucking monster. Now you got to live with that. Knowing that you're the reason why somebody's in the grave. You, your sister, and everybody else. But this cancer bitch, the culprit hoe, this bitch is evil. And you need to be careful of this hoe. Real motherfucking talk. So those are y'all messages. I hope they help you. I'm out of here.